Acceleration Reading Guide Key Concepts What are three ways an object can accelerate? What does a speed time graph indicate about an object's motion? Vocabulary Acceleration Inquiry Is velocity changing? How does the velocity of this motorcycle racer change as he speeds along the track? As he enters a curve, he slows down, leans to the side, and changes direction. On a straightaway, he speeds up and moves in a straight line. How can the velocity of a moving object change? Acceleration Changes in velocity. Imagine riding in a car. The driver steps on the gas pedal, and the car moves faster. Moving faster means the car's velocity increases. The driver then takes her foot off the pedal, and the car's velocity decreases. Next, the driver turns the steering wheel. The car's velocity changes because its direction changes. The car's velocity changes if either the speed or the direction of the car changes. When a car's velocity changes, the car is accelerating. Acceleration is a measure of the change in velocity during a period of time. An object accelerates when its velocity changes as a result of increasing speed, decreasing speed, or changing direction. Acceleration. Changes in velocity. You might have experienced a large acceleration if you have ever ridden a roller coaster. Think about all the changes in speed and direction you experience on a roller coaster ride. When you drop down a hill of a roller coaster, you reach a faster speed quickly. The roller coaster is accelerating because its speed is increasing. The roller coaster also accelerates any time it changes direction. It accelerates again when it slows down and stops at the end of the ride. Each time the velocity of the roller coaster changes, it accelerates. Reading check. What is acceleration? Representing acceleration. Like velocity, acceleration has a direction and can be represented by an arrow. Ways an object can accelerate are shown in figure 13. The length of each blue acceleration arrow indicates the amount of acceleration. An acceleration arrow's direction depends on whether velocity increases or decreases. Changing speed. The car in the top picture of figure 13 is speeding up. At first, it is moving slowly, so the arrow that represents its initial velocity is short. The car's speed increases, so the final velocity arrow is longer. As velocity increases, the car accelerates. Notice that the acceleration arrow points in the same direction as the velocity arrows. The car in the middle picture of figure 13 is slowing down. At first it moves fast, so the arrow showing its velocity is long. After the car slows down, the arrow showing its final velocity is shorter. When velocity decreases, acceleration and velocity are in opposite directions. The arrow that represents acceleration is pointing in the direction opposite to the direction the car is moving. Reading check. In what direction is acceleration if an object is slowing down? Changing direction. The car in the bottom picture of figure 13 has a constant speed, so the velocity arrow is the same length at each point in the turn. But the car's velocity changes because its direction changes. Because velocity changes, the car is accelerating. Notice the direction of the blue acceleration arrows. It might surprise you that the car is accelerating toward the inside of the curve. Recall that acceleration is the change in velocity. If you compare one velocity arrow with the next, you can see that the change is always toward the inside of the curve. Key concept check. What are three ways an object can accelerate? Calculating acceleration. 
Acceleration is a change in velocity divided by the time interval during which the velocity changes. Recall that velocity is the speed of an object in a given direction. However, if an object moves along a straight line, you can calculate its acceleration without considering the object's direction. In this lesson, velocity refers to only an object's speed. Positive acceleration can be thought of as speeding up in the forward direction. Negative acceleration is slowing down in the forward direction as well as speeding up in the reverse direction. Acceleration equation. Acceleration in meter per second squared equals final speed in meter per second minus initial speed in meter per second over total time in seconds. A equals V subscript F minus V subscript I over T. Acceleration has SI units of meters per second per second. This can also be written as meters per second squared. Speed time graphs. Recall that you can show an object's speed using a distance time graph. You also can use a speed time graph to show how speed changes over time. Just like a distance time graph, a speed time graph has time on the horizontal axis, the x-axis. But speed is on the vertical axis, the y-axis. The figures on the next few pages compare distance time graphs and speed time graphs for different types of motion. Object at rest. An object at rest is not moving, so its speed is always zero. As a result, the speed time graph for an object at rest is a horizontal line at y equals zero, as shown in figure 14. Constant speed. Think about a farm machine moving through a field at a constant speed. At every point in time, its speed is the same. If you plot its speed on a speed time graph, the plotted line is horizontal, as shown in figure 15. The speed of the object is represented by the distance the horizontal line is from the x-axis. If the line is farther from the x-axis, the object is moving at a faster speed. Speeding up. A plane speeds up as it moves down a runway and takes off. Suppose the speed of the plane increases at a steady rate. If you plot the speed of the plane on a speed time graph, the line might look like the one in figure 16. The line on the speed time graph is closer to the x-axis at the beginning of the time period when the plane has a lower speed. It slants upward toward the right side of the graph as the speed increases. Reading check. Why does the speed time graph of an object that is speeding up slope upward from left to right? Slowing down. The speed time graph in figure 17 shows the motion of a space shuttle just after it lands. It slows down at a steady rate and then stops. Initially, the shuttle is moving at a high speed. The point representing this speed is far from the x-axis. As the shuttle speed decreases, the points representing its speed are closer to the x-axis. The line on the speed time graph slopes downward to the right. When the line touches the x-axis, the speed is zero and the shuttle is stopped. Key concept check. What does a speed time graph show about the motion of an object? Limits of speed time graphs. You have read that distance time graphs show the speed of an object. However, they do not describe the direction in which an object is moving. In the same way, speed time graphs show only the relationship between speed and time. A speed time graph of the skier in figure 18 would show changes in his speed. It would not show what happens when the skier's velocity changes as a result of a change in his direction.
Summarizing motion. Now that you know about motion, how might you describe a walk down the hallway at school? You can describe your position by your direction and distance from a reference point. You can compare your distance and your displacement and find your average speed. You know that you have an instantaneous speed and can tell when you walk at a constant speed. You can describe your velocity by your speed and your direction. You know you are accelerating if your velocity is changing. Visual check. The skier slows down and speeds up along the curved path. Describe a speed time graph of this motion.